In this video, we'll create a MacZoom interactive page presentation using an Adobe PDF as the source file. We will look at uploading the original PDF file to MacZoom, creating the page turn code, and reviewing the functionality available in the default interface, adding the code to an HTML page, and reviewing the final page. Before we start uploading any files, let's look at the final result we wish to achieve. I have here a finished HTML page with the presentation embedded in place. The presentation has been designed to be embedded at a size of 1140 pixels wide by 720 pixels high. The presentation is live, so we can turn the pages. We can select a page to zoom in on, and we can select a region to zoom. Before we upload the PDF, let's take a quick look at the original file. There are 16 individual pages in the document, and the size of the file is around 30 megabytes. This type of PDF, with individual pages, provides an ideal source file for our interactive pages application. When the file is uploaded, MacZoom will automatically create individual images from each page of the PDF. After logging into MacZoom, I'm at the root level of the directory I want to upload my PDF file to. The next step in creating the interactive pages is to upload the PDF. I do that by selecting the Upload button on the main navigation. This launches the Upload window. In the Image 1 field, I select the Browse button and then select the Panasonic Olympic Guide PDF and open it. The document path is shown in the Image 1 field. The only other thing I want to do is create a new folder for the PDF and files rather than leave it at the root of the directory. I check Create New Folder and add the word Olympics. I finished with everything, so I'm ready to upload the PDF file by selecting the link Send Files. After initiating the upload, the progress window is displayed, showing me the amount of data transferred. Once the data is transferred, it's verified, and then we are given the option to close the window. The upload process is now complete. Even though the file has been uploaded, the directory doesn't show our new folder. That's because we need to reload the directory tree. We do that by either clicking on the directory itself or use the Reload Tree button. After refreshing the tree, we can drill down to the new folder Olympics that we created during the upload. Inside the Olympics folder, there is the original PDF file and a new directory containing the images extracted from the PDF. If we open the folder, we can see all of the images that have been extracted. To build the page application, we select the Publish to Web button from the main menu. When the Publish options appear, we choose Pages from the options available. This opens the main configuration page for the application. Without changing any settings, select Preview from the Publishing tab to see a preview of the pages using the MacZoom default settings. Once the pages have loaded, we can look at some of the functionality incorporated into the default interface. We can drag a corner to flip the page. We can click on a corner to flip the page. We can use the slider to advance one or more pages. We can use the Next Page, Previous Page buttons to move forward or back one page at a time. We can enter a specific number to navigate to that page. We can view a thumbnail index of all the pages and select one to view. We can click into any page to set up a zoom. We can click and drag to see a specific area in high resolution. We can click and drag in the navigator window to pan and scan the page. We can print out various versions of the page, including the current view. So let's finalize the code and publish our pages. We select the Publish button to take us back to the main configuration page. As I mentioned earlier, our layout requires a pages application that is 1140 pixels wide by 720 pixels high. So we enter those values into the width and height fields. We want the background of our page to show through, so we set the window to transparent. In this case, we don't need flash detection, so we uncheck this box. The HTML code has been updated to reflect the changes we have made. All we have to do now is select all of the code within the HTML code box and copy it to our clipboard. Now that we have our code, we can update our HTML page. To do that, I will use Adobe Dreamweaver, but you can use any text editor. My current page is a temporary one that contains a graphic placeholder. 
I'll simply delete the placeholder code and paste in the copied HTML code from MacZoom. And that's it, we're finished. I'll save the page and preview it in my browser. So you can see within minutes of uploading a PDF source file, you can have a sophisticated online interactive page presentation using MacZoom. MacZoom offers an advanced user interface that can be customized with over 100 individual options to meet a wide range of user requirements. In future interactive page videos, we will look at what custom options are available for your online interactive page presentations. For more information on MacZoom, visit the WebCam website.